students with a growth mindset understand they can cultivate intelligence through hard work, solve problems through the use of effective strategies, and collaborate together for better solutions. Here at Foxcroft, everything we do is curriculum, and our students have unique learning opportunities to pursue passions, explore interests, and thrive. Here at Foxcroft, grades are important, don't get me wrong, but more than that, the teachers here allow us to personalize our learning and support us to think outside the box, which allows a great deal of flexibility in the learning process. I started explicitly teaching growth mindset in all my classes a few years ago. We try to teach students that you're not predisposed to being good or bad at something. Learning is a process. It takes perseverance and effort. And we want the message to be, I don't understand this yet, but with time and effort, I will. I have seen this little change have a big impact on my students. It means they're more willing to try new things outside of their comfort zones and stick with things when they get tough, which is ultimately where the learning happens. Having a growth mindset is empowering. It gives the student control over their own learning, which opens up a world of possibilities and options for solutions and for success. And having options in anything, but especially in solutions, gives people hope. Hope is buoyant in every aspect of our lives. Therefore, having a growth mindset can be beneficial in every aspect of life, because instead of feeling dejected and powerless, it keeps us actively looking for solutions or resolutions. I think my physics class is the class I've seen the most personal growth with because I was very quiet and unsure of myself because of how old my science was. But having everyone support me no matter what I do really helped me learn and explore how to experience learning in a way that didn't negatively affect how I perceived myself. I'm really proud of my progress towards being more involved in my class this year.